103.8. Ben, Mads, lovely to yeah. meet the pair of you. We're having a great old chat there just off yeah. camera about uh, this Rogue One. I loved it, and as I was just saying to the pair of you, that um, it feels like a Star Wars movie that was made for fans of the original trilogy growing up. It has this real lived-in feel, and after the film, I thought, pressure's on uh, for Ryan, uh, the director of Episode Eight, because... This is going to be a tough film to top. Can I ask you both first, Ben, I'll start with you. When you saw it for the first time, being a Star Wars fan like you are, what the, was it like? The first time we saw it was in a little cast screening uh, in um, in the, what, the Skywalker, Skywalker Ranch, which was just re- very overwhelming in and of itself. We were quite stunned. And I think mm. it really took us till the second watch at the premiere to really sort of be able to watch it as a film. And we were blown away I mean it is uh, it's a it feels like a great achievement to have been a part of oh yeah it's just so gritty so dark and, and the sense of realism about it Mads I, I mm. loved as well but a film of this nature we're talking over 200 million dollars a lot of the production is shrouded in secrecy I'm just really curious when they approach you about starring in this movie do they have a fully fleshed out script or are you signing up a little bit blind, knowing a little bit about my character, but it'll develop as we start shooting? I uh, know we've got uh, we've got the script, we've got the whole thing. I think mm-hmm. that if you come and visit for one or maybe two days, as a I have a couple of lines, I don't think they give you the full script. But I'm not sure about that. Though. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Uh, I think that's th- yeah, you're I think probably that's about right. But mm-hmm. we the script was pretty much solid. It it, yep. it, it wasn't an evolving sense uh, yeah. once we'd sort of gotten it down. There were variants after that, and that's that's always what happens. Mm-hmm. But no, it was there. But secrecy, that was what we were asking. Uh, secrecy, yeah, yes, there's so much around it. Yeah. So this character has a cape. Mm. <laughs> but we all had capes. Yeah. The secrecy capes. I think oh, we yes, they were. were going from the trailer nice. to make up. Very nice. We, we would wear a little secrecy cape. Very and, and nice. So nobody could see what outfit oh, we were wearing. Yeah, yeah. They, 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 yeah. Yeah. they take all that mm. stuff very, very seriously. And for good reason. Because, because everyone is, seems to want to yeah. know what, what's going on. But the big thing, lads, just in advance of this release, like the big talking point was the reshoots. And there was all this going on. Tony yeah, Gilroy being brought well. in. And people kind of going oh, on behind the scenes and all that. And, and like I suppose like for Tony, he's coming in, maybe, I don't know, as a character development or whatever was going on. And, and Garrett seemed like such a... A massive fan for that. Mm. So, what was your reaction to all these reshoot the, talks? Quite surprising. I was calling for one day of reshoot, mm-hmm. uh, and I and I remember vividly. I had five days on Doctor Strange, and nobody talked about that. So, it, it, my opinion was that it every big film this scale, mm. they will always polish in the end. They mm. will come up with an extra idea or something that might be just you know tweak yeah. a little. Uh, but that was my feeling. That's what we were doing, and and then obviously Tony come in and took over there because uh, uh, Gareth was busy editing the film. Mm-hmm. Because it does. There's mo- there's moments where you, God, it gets you. There's emotional moments in, in this film, and um, the do were, were any of you moved by it when you saw? Oh, it? look, very yeah. much. As soon as that final reel starts doing what it does, it is. I mean, I think it's the toughest uh, Star Wars film, both in what we see happening to the characters and what we go through as an audience as well. And I think, uh, wor- the, to me, that's its its greatest achievement, mm-hmm. is that final reel really is just like, whoa. I'm glad you, d- well, you, you have the 3D glasses, Ben, because you can just try and, you know, I mean, that grit gets in the eye. I Just before we go, because I know time's unfortunately against us, but I have some fan questions just to quickly throw out. Roger. Some of them are a little bit bizarre, lads, so you'll appreciate <coughs> the, no the mad tone of this. Um, one person asks, asks, have you guys resolved yourselves with the ra- rabid fan base that is Star Wars to attending sci-fi conventions for the rest of your lives? Well, the rest of our lives. <laughs> but, I, but I mean, I, I wouldn't mind doing it once or twice because I've, I've done it once before. Mm-hmm. And it's it's fantastic, but you might get a little jealous on your neighbor's line <laughs> <laughs> if he's wearing <laughs> a strange glove uh, and, and he's in a cool film. But I think I have a hunch that Star Wars may make their line a little longer. Oh, very good. Now, this is bizarre, right? So I don't know. Whoever wants to take this one, you can take it, okay? Ben, you want to go That's with this? Well, oh, okay. All right. Would you rather French kiss Jabba the Hutt or punch an Ewok in the face? Why do you have to pick? Can we do both? <laughs> well, I, I don't think... I think I would have to take the Jabba option. I just <laughs> feel like, the, the, you know, at least with the Jabba the Hutt thing, there is some affection <laughs> and, and you are taking on uh, whatever punishment yourself. I think to actually inflict um, wanton damage on an Ewok... No, you, you can't do that. And finally, finally, now this this could be damage here though. Mm. If you had to legally change your name, Mads, if you had to, 
and you had two names to choose from, right. would it be either Jar Jar Binks or Donald Trump? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's brutal. That's brutal. Yeah, I just watched a guy who played a snooker called Trump. He was doing fine. Uh, but I'll do the Jar Jar thing again. Very good. Gentlemen, it's been so nice to meet the pair of you. And look, Rogue One, a fantastic piece of work. Thank you so much for Thank your time. Thank you so much. Spin. 103.8.